Hello students, in this video we'll see how to balance the chemical equation for the burning of propane. So this is burning propane. Okay. That's the following chemical reaction, which is unbalanced. It's C3H8, it's propane, plus oxygen, O2, goes into CO2, carbon dioxide, and then water, and then of course, heat, right? It's an exothermic reaction. Okay. Of course, this is unbalanced. So I need to balance it, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do our standard procedure. So I have like X number of the propane, C3H8. I have Y of the oxygen, O2. That's going to go to Z of the CO2 and W of the H2O, okay? Now we count all of these components over here, so let's count the carbons first. I have three X carbons, so the carbons are three X. I have three X carbons over here, three X, okay? How many carbons do we have over here? We have Z carbons over here, so three X has to be equal to Z, okay? Those are, that's the carbon counting. Now we can count the hydrogens over here, so there's eight X hydrogens over here, eight X hydrogens over here, and there's exactly two W, two W hydrogens over on the other side of the equation. Great. All right, and now we do what we got, carbon, now oxygen. So we have two Y oxygens over here, and how many oxygens do we have over here? We have two Z, two Z oxygens, and then one W oxygen, right? And so I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn these into fractions, so what this tells me, this tells me that X minus Z over three is equal to zero. This equation over here tells me that 4x minus w is equal to zero, 4x minus w is equal to zero, or equivalently that x minus w over four is equal to zero. And then this equation over here tells me what? It tells me that y, y minus z minus w over two is equal to zero, okay? And so now I have a system of three equations and four unknowns, so I'm gonna have one free variable. When I do this, let's put down the augmented matrix over here, so what's my matrix look like? My matrix looks like the following. It looks like a one for x, a no y's, a negative one third for z, and then I augment with zero, right? Like so, and then I have zero w's, and then I augment with zero. Okay, so these are my x's, my y's, my z's, and my w's, okay? Excellent. And then what do we get next? So the next equation, I'm gonna use this equation next over here because it sort of fits into my bill nicely. I get zero X's, I get one Y, I get negative one Z, and I have negative one half of W over here. Great. And then the last equation over here is gonna be a one over here for the X, then a zero, then a zero, then a negative one quarter, zero and a zero. So I need to figure out the solution of this system. I need to figure out an integer solution system. I can't have fractional numbers of atoms, right? So what, the first thing we're going to do is I am going to drop the dotted line. We can turn that into a bold line. I'm going to do negative row one plus row three. That's going to be my new row three. So row one stays the same. Zero, one, negative one third, zero, zero. And then what? And then row two stays the same. Negative one half, zero. And then what's so row three going to turn into? It's going to turn into zero, and then there's nothing else for y, zero. And then I have a negative one-third over here, negative one-third. So that's going to be positive one-third. And then the w stays, that w is going to be negative one-quarter, negative one-quarter, zero. Like that. Great. All right, now I'm going to scale the, the third row by three to get a leading one over there. So three times row three is going to turn into a one, zero, negative one-third, zero, zero then a zero, then a one, then a negative one, then a negative one half, and a zero. Great, then a zero, a zero, a one, and then a negative three quarters, negative three quarters, and then a zero, right? Remember with this augmented matrix, I'm always gonna have zeros, because it's a homogeneous system over here, so I always have zeros over there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do row three plus, uh, row three plus, row three, plus row two, row three plus row two. So row one's gonna stay the same, zero, zero. And then we'll have a, row three's gonna stay the same, zero, zero, one, negative three quarters, zero. And then if I add those together, what's gonna happen, I'm gonna have a zero and then a one, and that's gonna turn into a zero over here, great. 
And then I have negative three quarters, uh, negative three quarters plus one half, of course, what will that give us? So I have this plus this, negative three quarters plus one, plus negative one half is gonna be negative two over four. That's gonna be negative five over four, right? So this is gonna be negative five over four. Zero, that's great. And now what we'll do, and so finally what we'll do is we'll do negative, uh, one, we'll do one third of row three, so then we're gonna do one third of row three plus row one. So row two and row three will stay the same. Zero, zero, one, negative three quarters. Zero, 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 great. Then I have a zero, then a one, then a zero, then a negative five quarters, okay? And then a one, then a zero, then a zero. Nothing's gonna happen over there. That will turn to a zero. And then we'll have what? So I'm doing negative a third of this. So what do we really have over here? So negative, a third of negative is going to be a one quarter, right? So it's going to turn to one quarter. And I'm going to add that to row one. So it's going to be a negative one quarter over here. Beautiful. All right, so what do we have over here? So remember, this is my x. That was my y. That was my z. That was my w. And now w is the free variable over here. So w is a free parameter. This is my free variable. OK? So we're going to call w t, OK? as is traditionally done. So this tells me that x is equal to, so this says that x minus w over t over 4 is equal to 0, so x is equal to t over 4. y is equal to what? Negative 5 over 4, so 5t over 4. And z is equal to what? Is equal to 3t over 4. And remember, we want x, y, and z and t to be integers, so I'm going to choose the smallest one that makes this work. t equals 4 is the smallest value of t that will turn these into integers. It will exactly cancel the factors. So x will be equal to what in this case? x will be 1. y will be equal to 5. z will be equal to 3. And then uh, w, which is t, will be equal to 4, as we've chosen. So now we go back to our original equation. So the x in our problem is equal to 1. So to balance the equation, we have 1 of x's. So we have C3H8 plus y. y was equal to 5. So I have 5 oxygens, O2. Goes into what? Goes into ZCO2s. Z is equal to 3. So 3 CO2s plus how many? And then plus WH2O's, and W is equal to 4. So 4 H2O. And of course, this is burning, so we get heat. We get energy transfer. We get heat. And so this is the balanced equation for burning propane. Thank you very much.